Hello everyone, uh, it's Mike from Artec Welding. Uh, today we're going to be changing uh, a wireliner in a MIG torch. Uh, this is an MB15 torch. Uh, this comes as standard on our uh, ever popular MIG 180. It is a, a, an MB15 tub of torch. With MIG welding, it's very important to have a, a constant clean wire delivery. Uh, and as you all know, if you've got one of our machines and you've MIG welded before, uh, this is a, a Euro fitting and the wire comes up through inside that uh, little gland nut there, runs up into a liner and all the way out through a tip. Um, because that's got to run through, and it's got to run through very smoothly, sometimes after a while, period of while, the copper falls off the, end, uh, off the outside of the wire, comes deposited inside the liner and clogs it up and jams it up, and you get wire feeding issues. If you have that, your welder's not going to weld very well, you're going to get problems, wire feeding problems, snagging, birds nesting inside the machine. So at relatively little cost, you can change the liner in your torch and your, your world will be good as new. So it's, it's definitely worth looking at. If you're getting problems and you run quite a few spools of wire in your machine, uh, I would definitely say get a new liner and we'd stick it in. So um, in order to take the, uh, the liner out of the torch, uh, what we need to do uh, first off is take the shroud off the top uh, and then the tip off. Now, obviously, if you've been welding, that's going to be hot. Uh, not been welding this one as a brand new torch um, so I'm just going to take that off and you can either take it off by hand and you just anti-clockwise and just pull it off and it should come off never force it but if it's a bit warm and you want it otherwise warm you can always use a pair of MIG pliers uh, which fit perfectly on a shroud so once we've got that off we use this handy spanner again which comes in the toolbox for the uh, for the MB15 and you pull off your tip, you unscrew that anti-clockwise, a few threads, and place that down there right away. And on the other end, this is a Euro, Euro fitting, and uh, hopefully already before you've taken this off your, your MIG machine, so you've pulled your wire back through, your wire's safely in within your machine, so now you've got to gain access to the back of the Euro fitting on your MIG torch. You need to undo this gland nut. Again, this spanner comes in handy, you undo that, that nut there, a little brass nut, undo it, place that to one side because you will need that. And what we need to do now is lay the torch down. It just means it's a lot easier pulling your liner up through and, and then we can start putting a new one in. So if we just get this, uh, what we need is a nice clean open space. Depends how long your torch is, this is a three meter, you might have a four meter torch. Um, there are other longer torches available, so however long, but you need to lie it down in your workshop or somewhere, somewhere where you can stretch it right out and you can pull the liner out. So we'll do that just now. Okay, with the torch laid out flat, um, we've got the gland nut off. So what we're gonna do is pull the liner. Now, you might find a little bit of resistance in there. Depends how hard you've been uh, working that torch. If it's been working at a high end, it might be a little bit stuck, got hot in there. Um, in which case you might, might get away with just using some pliers, but normally uh, you just pull it out by hand. So we'll pull that liner right out. As you see, it's got a plastic sleeve on it. That just helps it guide it in and out of the torch. And towards the other end, it's a, it's a plain wire, and that's to, to stop the plastic melting and getting stuck all inside the torch. So we'd always make sure that's plain at the first sort of 12 inches uh, at the top of the, uh, top of the torch. Then we need to uh, fit the new liner. Now, there are different lengths of liners available. This is a three meter torch, so I'm gonna be putting a three meter liner in it. I say it's a three meter, it's just over, it's about three and a half meters, so it'll be sticking out the end of the torch we need to cut it back to the correct size. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that one second. So first off, take it out of the packet as I've already done. Let me to unwind it and watch it don't spring in your face. So just be a bit careful with that. And once we've got that all uncoiled, you know, grab your torch and put it down the end where you pulled the other line around. So that just goes down inside. And we again, remember, we got the torch spread out nice and flat so it aids us to push it in. Just be careful when you're pushing it in. If you find a bit of restriction, don't force it. Don't use a pair of pliers because it can kink the wire. And if you kink the wire liner, uh, you, your wire's going to have trouble going up inside. 
So as you get towards the end, you will find a little bit of restriction. So you might just need to jiggle it a little bit. If you've got, uh, if you've got someone nearby, a friend, you can always get them just to pick it up and help you just push it, push it in. But uh, this one seems to be going fine. You push it all the way in. Get the gland nut that we've uh, just taken off. Put that back on. And we just get the spanner and just nip it up. Don't have to be too tight, just nip it up slightly. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other end. Now uh, what I'll do is lie this back down so we get the correct length when you're, when you're measuring the liner to cut it back right to the torch. As you can see, the liner stuck out a lot longer than the torch. So what we need to do is cut this back, uh, cut the liner back to flush to the tip holder. And that's the tip holder, as you know, the tip goes down inside. And so what we need to do is push that liner down, just slightly push it down, and then we'll get a pair of snips. And then we're gonna cut it back. Okay, now I've, uh, now I've cut the liner back to the, to the tip holder. Uh, now this, uh, as I said before, it's an MB15 torch. There are other torches, an MB25, bigger torch, MB36 for larger machines. Same principle applies really. Um, you've got to cut it back flush and then push your tip inside. So we'll, we'll do that now. Now it is stuck out a little bit, but if you, you can just push it back. So if you get the tip, the right size tip for the wire you're using, don't forget that. And we just push it in there and a couple of threads will grab it and away you go. Again, we're going to use the spanner again. That fit over the end of the two flats. And we just turn it around and just nip it up. Not too tight, but just enough so it doesn't come undone. So that's all the front end done. Uh, the back end's done, so we've got a new liner in there. We're pretty much ready to go. Put the shroud on. And just screw that on there. It's all in good condition there. So we're now ready to fit this to the, to the MIG welder and then we can push our, our wire back up through and then uh, the torch and the MIG welder should all be good as new and it'll be welded perfectly for you, hopefully.